So Lauren, let's begin with what energy medicine yoga is and maybe give us a little bit of framework and foundation. And I know a little bit later on in this interview, you're going to actually give us a little bit of an experience with it as well, which is going to be wonderful. But how is it maybe different or unique from much of the yoga we've kind of come to know here in, in the Western world? Mm -hmm. Sure. So yoga is at its root an energetic practice, um, but it's not often taught like that. Um, and it's taught like that sort of less and less in the modern yoga world. Oftentimes it's taught as physical exercise or, you know, stretching, getting flexibility. Maybe there's a little emphasis on meditation and breathing practices. And some of that is starting to increase as the data comes out proving that breathing practices and meditation are incredibly positive for your health. And so now there's kind of this movement more towards that. But at the root of yoga is energy. And let me actually back up and say at the root of everything is energy. That's it. We are all energy. We are vibrating bits of light, sound, and information, vibrating at very high speeds at very tiny, tiny, tiny bits. So while everything around you may look solid and I can pick this glass up and I hold it and it doesn't, my hand just doesn't go through it, that is sort of literally a trick of the light, a trick of the light. And uh, uh, the magnetic field of atoms pushing back against other fields that makes it that I can't put my hand through that glass. Why am I telling you all of this? We are energy and energy isn't as esoteric as most of us think. It's not just, you know, you plug your computer into the wall and it turns on while well, there's electricity running through that. Well, how does that work? And everything's energy. So what, what does that mean? Here's why it's important. If energy is all there is, then everything that happens in your life is underpinned by this energy. And just like things in your life can fall off of track or out of realm of what you want it to be doing, maybe you get um, a sickness or illness, or you just don't feel good someday, or you're depressed, or all of these things that happen, they happen in the fields of your energy systems before they happen in the physical body or the mental body with like depression. And so if you can start to communicate with your energy, which is really at the root of what energy medicine yoga is, it is learning the language that your body speaks, which is energy. And once you have that intimacy with the language of your own body, you can affect all of the other things and systems that are working in the physical body. So in an energy medicine yoga practice, it may not look at first glance, that dissimilar from a traditional yoga practice. But then as you get into it, you'll see that we're doing all of these things within the context of a yoga practice, utilizing the electromagnetic fields of your hands and your body to speak to these nine energy systems, which you are made up of. And so we'll do things like tapping on the body or thumping on the body because the body speaks in pulses, right? Your heart is a pulse. Your breath is a pulse. It's the impulse and the out pulse. All of your digestive system works on pulsation. So that's one of the languages or some of the vocabulary of the energy in the body. And so we work with all of that in a traditional yoga practice balancing all of these systems out. So our goal is balance and coherence, which is basically like everything in harmony. Once everything is harmony in the physical, excuse me, in the energetic, then that can speak out into the physical. And if you can fix things, so to speak, in the energetic, you can also affect how they work in the physical.